Yep. Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Jacob Volkman, victorious tonight over Efrain Escudero. And obviously the first question is, how close was that choke at the end? It was pretty close. It's like J.L. Stone and uh, Anderson Silva choke. Uh, my, my peripheral was starting to go down. I was like, oh, man, I got to move or I'm done. I looked at the clock. It was a minute and a half. I was like, God, this can't happen. Yeah, what goes through your head? Because obviously you'd pretty much been owning him the fight. It was all yours all the way up until that point. So what goes through your head in terms of trying not to panic or, or you know, just thinking, is this really happening? Mo most important thing for me, well, I was like, the first thing I thought of was, like, I can't give this guy the, the, the submission of the night. Because if he would have had that, he would have had submission of the night. Second thing, I was like, oh, man, I can get out of this. There was a little breathing room, but he was, he was getting my uh, arteries pretty good. So I, I started seeing a really narrow, a narrow stream of, of light there. So I had to move as much as I could to get a little more blood to my head. And I knew a short time. Oh, that's tough. Well, you made it out of there. So let's talk about the rest of the fight. Like I said already, though, it did pretty much seem like it was going your way the whole time. Was that the fight you expected? Yeah, I, I wanted. To, I couldn't get my my left leg out. He had he had it locked up pretty good with his legs. And then I could have opened up a little more in submissions, but. I'll take what I get, though, I guess. He was, he was just trying to hold on. Yeah. You're on a five-fight win streak right now. That's going to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, yeah, because you, you get more and more every fight, so I can pay a little more bills. <laughs> Are you still working as a, as a wrestling coach? I'm a, I'm a coach for, uh, I can't say for who, but, um, and then I'm, a, I'm also a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. they, they, I got in trouble last year with the school because I, I called out Obama, and I said he was an idiot, and they said I was disrespectful. And they gave me four rules to follow, and one was I couldn't say who I coach for. Okay. All right, well, let's talk about the Obama jokes. I am curious, who writes your, your, your material? You might need a better writer. They, they didn't go over so well. So, so, so who writes your jokes? <laughs> I just, it was a family joke, because yeah. I heard when I was like six years old, and I was like, oh, man, that'd be perfect for him. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't feel any worries about the Secret Service calling you up again? Oh, who cares? They, don't, they already know who I am. I've already served in the military. They don't care about me. All right, you're also calling out Frankie Edgar, though, right? Well, yeah, he did. I, I've always wanted to call him out. Um, I think Gray Maynard did a horrible job of honing in on his wrestling ability because he beat him the first time, he beat a wrestler. Second third time, he was trying to just knock him out. I think that's what his, his downfall was. He should be a champion. And you've got the game plan, though, to beat him, huh? <laughs> that's the goal, right? I wouldn't be doing it if I, if I, I didn't think I'd be have a chance, at least. All right, well, congratulations tonight, Jacob. Thank you. i got to get some more water. Nice job. <laughs>